Alright, B. This is going to be a, this is a comparison test between the this is a Jink Gong G3 and this is an Echo 1 G3. We have this M4 there to show you a size difference between a G3 and a and an M4. They're a lot bigger. Well, we should I guess I should probably let you get with the people who own the guns talk. The Echo 1 G3 is owned by you know who? Led Zeppelin Freak. And the Jink Gong G3 is owned by my buddy Jamie. And okay. Okay, well, I'm guess I'm first. We all know. My G3 SG1, A3 to be exact. Okay. Now, to tell you a little bit about it, it's not really weighing that much. Um, I believe that it weighs less than the G3, but let him talk about that. Um, mine is all black. Um, we'll just go over the plastic and metal parts again. Okay, metal parts are the outer barrel, inner barrel, your front sight, your bipod, charging handle, mag, mag release, trigger, all your little bolts and screws, your back sight, fire selector switch, and your gearbox. Other than that, everything else is made out of plastic. Your stock, upper receiver, mag well, pistol grip, bipod, foregrip, all this right here. Um, that's mainly about it. Shoots around 350 FPS. You get probably you can shoot around 200 feet with this. I'd say accurate up to 150. But um, just so you know, do a small little shooting test right here to show you. We got a 65 foot target right down there. That little brown thing is yeah, what he's going to be shooting at. We're just going to aim for the uh, brown thing to prove that we can hit it. Okay, that's 65 feet away. You're going to hit your target. Now, of course, let's go to 130 feet, which is the windmill. Put on semi-auto, then full auto. Okay, that's the end of my review. You can't hit the target, but it is tough to do with this. Okay, let's go to James. Alrighty, and again, he's doing the, he's the owner of the Jink Gong. They call it the T3K1, but it's a G3. Well, first off the bat, as you can see, I have a folding bipod just like the owner of the Echo 1. Sturdy bipod, just tighten up right here. We both have the advanced top up right here, covered up by a little shield. Springs back just like so. High cap three five hundred round mag. Let's see. Fire selector, nice and solid. Clicks as well as the rear sights. They're very sturdy. Click just like that. You got. Your normal range, got your medium, semi -me semi long, long distance. Mine is gray and black, like so. Nah. Uh, due to the fact that we are having battery issues, we will not be doing a fire test, but it is similar to the Echo One as seen over here. And then uh that's pretty much the end of my review. Alrighty, and the last thing I want to say is that I, I have personally used both guns in this in battle. They both perform almost almost identically. And thing is, I would probably have to say the Jink Gong one is heavier, 
which it could be a good or bad thing depending if you want realism or if you want like a close quarter type deal. The, um, the Echo One looks smaller just due to the fact of its jet blackness, but they are literally the exact same size as I will show you here now. They are identical in length, size. Echo One weighs a little bit less. The Echo One's bipod's a little bit wobblier, but that's okay. Other than that, they're identical guns and they perform almost identically. But then again, that's expected since Jink Gong is an exact copy of Echo One. Alrighty, and you guys found this informative. Alrighty, bye. Please leave comments.